How's it going guys? This is EC Wood and today we're working on this Mercedes R350. Uh, this car is brought to us with a terrible conditions and after doing a quick measurement uh, we can list down some of the problems that this vehicle is having. So first up um, we had absolutely no crank at all and when we turn off the vehicle I mean when we took the keys out uh, somehow the instrument cluster is still working. Uh, now this could mean that the electronic ignition switch module is not doing its job and that are some of the major problems this vehicle is having with. So now let's go ahead and fixing this car with ECU boot. So what you just saw is uh, we took care of the water that gets inside the car and at where the water stay uh, there are two main modules that I think is filled with water. They are the, uh, the central gateway for CAN bus communications and the park trolley module. The problem is uh, water only exists on the driver side and somehow the passenger side is good. Now after we do, took all the waters out um, we're gonna do a quick test and you can see on the cluster it still cannot determine where the gear is at and a message without changing gear is appeared. So at the moment, uh, the vehicle still has no crank but uh, luckily the instrument uh, turned off when we pulled the keys out. Now by using C4 diagnostic tool, we're gonna do a quick test to see if we found anything that uh, interesting. So we have our result right here and as you can see uh, there's a lot of fault codes and there's a few exclamation mark. Um, we have those marks at the uh, steering column module, uh, the ESP, the airbag and finally the ECM. This mark is very important and based on the missing MB number. I can claim that we've lost the communication with this module. So. Uh, this R350 is using two main CAN bus communications, uh, they are CAN-B and CAN-C. CAN-B is for the interior CAN and CAN-C is using for the track train. So in the next step, uh, let's go through the basics of the communications, especially on this R350 which using the 272 engines and the 7-speed automatic gearbox. As you can see, uh, we have two main CAN bus, uh, the CAN-B and CAN-C. Uh, there's a little candy from the N93 Central Gateway to the OBT2 port X11-4 and of course this is the uh, diagnosis can. On can C, uh, we have a lot of modules such as the gear shift, uh, the transmission control, the ESP, the airbag, etc. Uh, there are several modules using two CAN bus at the same time like the uh, electronic ignition switch, the instrument cluster, uh, the steering column module and so on. Uh, with can be we have a bunch of units like the the seat, uh, the door, the the park tronic, as well as the front sam, etc. Uh, so that is basically all the can communications on this vehicle. And the most important module is this N93, the um, central gateway. So um, a central gateway is a hub that interconnects and transfer data across uh, the many different networks found in vehicle in a secure, uh, reliable, and dependable manner. Um, the gateway acts as a router and enable communications between multi-protocol and connected services. So this unit is located under the driver's seat and one out of two boxes that are filled with water like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Uh, so this is the uh, distributor for the interior can and this is our gateway that connects with the OBD2 ports. Uh, and at the passenger side, we also have uh, two distributors for the interior can and a drivetrain can. The drivetrain can will have some green wire coming out of it and the interior can will have some brown wires. So in the next step, I will measure the voltage of this can bus to see if it's still working properly. So for better understanding, I'll give a little explanations on this central gateway. 
so with this R350, uh, you can see that we have some pair of wires, a green pair, uh, right here is a brown pair and a gray pair of wires. The gray pairs will go to uh, the OBD2 ports uh, right here and this means that the gateway will communicate with the OBD2 ports through these wires. The interior can will transfer a message to the gateway through this brown pair and finally the green pair will be used to communicate with the drivetrain. Now I'm going to measure the voltage of this scan bus. We have 2.8 and 2.2 so at all interior can is good except for some module that is miscommunicate so the interior can includes the uh, the gateway uh, the electronic ignition switch uh, the front and rear sam uh, those three much are some example so in the next step we're gonna measure the voltage at the plug of the central gateway As you can see, we have uh, zero voltage at the plug connector. Uh, let's unplug the gateway and see what will happen. So right now we're having a voltage at the plug. So uh, based on the results, I can insist that our central gateway is shorted in it Result some uh, miscommunications problems on this vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this central gateway. Now this is a new gateway module and I already installed it onto the vehicles and let's measure the voltage that is coming out of it. So uh, we're having 2.8 on the can high and 2.1 on the can low. So uh, the voltage is back to normal. Uh, now on the cluster, we have our gear right here and we can turn on our engines. So to conclude, uh, our gateway is losing connections with the drivetrain can and this leads to many problems like we cannot change in the gear or the engine is no crank. So in the next step, I'm going to do a quick test to see if we get back our connections. So uh, as you can see right here, uh, we're having all the module on the drivetrain can back on the system like the uh, the ECM, the ESP, and even the electronic transmission control. Uh, don't worry about these DTC because during the fixing procedure, we have to unplug some connectors and after a while, it will flag some fault codes on the memories. Uh, we can easily erase these DTC because they are already been fixed. Now let's go ahead and er erase them.
Now on the cluster, uh, there's a SRS message. Uh, it's because we removed the seat and we haven't installed it back on, so it's just a uh, preset warning. So uh, I'm going to try and change the gear. As you can see, uh, the vehicles can shift gear now and everything is back to normal after we've been replacing the central gateway. The engine is working properly right here. So in conclusion, today's problem is related to the central gateway. Uh, this module is very important on this Mercedes R350 and without it, uh, it will make the whole system paralyzed because uh, there is no communications between those units. If you find this video is helpful, please subscribe to our channels. Uh, we provide many brief technologies on how cars work and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we will help you as much as possible. So then, we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.